Hi, it's Sally. Welcome back to my channel. I'm glad to see you here and I appreciate you coming by so much. Um, today I want to show you the final flip through of the little file folder junk journal that we all made together in my little tutorial that lasted way too long. <laughs> Four videos later, here it is. Um, I also have at the end of this video uh, an idea about a different way of um, starting this journal and I think it ends up being um, easier to handle throughout so I'll show you that at the end. Meanwhile I have uh, gotten this little journal tied up with a little uh, lace ribbon. Um, I've made a few changes to it not not very many though. One thing I did if you're very astute and you saw the the uh, other videos, I changed the rip the uh, the uh, lace on the spine of the book uh, because I had used pink on the spine and decided that that was just too much. It just it was too much. It took away from the focal point, so I changed it to green so that the focal would would pop out. And so that's a little different. And then I decorated the uh, a little tab here with lace also. Okay, so on the back then of the cover is the uh, fabric ribbon that we used and the little rubber stamp by my custom cancel for postage since this is postage stamps. All right, so that's the cover and the spine. Inside, as you know, if you watched the other videos, um, is a little place to write a note and then um, in this little pocket I decorated the edge of this with uh, fabric and washi tape and then a little uh, silver angel and I did, the rest of it was done during the um, video the other videos now on this pocket I did add this little snowflake to go with the snowflake in the booklet that this this centerpiece as you recall is a pocket there's a pocket here and this little uh, mini ledger goes in it so it's decorated with decorative paper and uh, marbled paper and a little tag and then I put a tab on it uh, this little tuck spot. I think you saw all this. Oh, I intended to put a ribbon in there. I'll do that. Put a little ribbon in there. And then it has little pages to journal on, too. So, you can... This one got stuck. Here we go. Little pages to journal on. Okay, nice little, little ledger. Alrighty. Then, on this page, this one... Um, folds down. This little flap folds down and so you have three pages here. Uh, this one has a little uh, tissue paper and uh, journal card under it that you can write on. I put lines on there. That's gesso and lines on scrapbook paper. Or you can write under here too if you want to. I decorated this tab with lace and yummy brayered paper and then some scrapbook paper these are just scraps and uh, then some little Chotsky's uh, uh, little plastic um, note and snowflake and treble clip and so forth. Little miniature things. And then on this drop down page, which you've seen before in the photo corners, I added this little Noel tag. Okay. And then. This page is just a journaling card like the others, and um, I did add a little tag that says let it snow. <clears throat> On this side is the Christmas card. I think you, uh, you'll recall that from the other videos. I cut this from a larger Christmas card and then made a, a journaling tag out of it. This is just a little decoration for this page. You can journal on this page. I put it on the side here so that this would become a surprise. <laughs> Me and my surprises. See if I can get this back on. Yep. All right, and I put the clip over to the side so you can see the little birdies. 
Then this page flips down and you have the back of that card or when you take it off you can journal on this page. I did add the uh, snowflakes on this page. And then I added these little postage stamps and the cheesecloth under them. Um, I had made this uh, little snowman with puff paint and some snow falling with, that's, that's all puff paint. Okay, and then the back. So there you have it, 10 pages to journal on and a cover. All right, so that's my little uh, file folder mini junk journal and I'm going to have that <clears throat> on my Etsy in just a few minutes. All right, the idea that I had, do you recall that these, this uh, file folder is how we did the base of this book. We made it on a file folder by cutting a little piece out of a file folder and then folding up the flaps and folding in the inside and making the pocket out of this and, uh, and a, with a file folder. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, working with the file folder was kind of tough because it was so thick. Uh, even the fine, the, the ones I used were fine file folders and they were quite thick and that made it a little tough to, to manage. So my idea was to get some of this uh, thin paper. This, I think it's called masking paper and you get it at like Home Depot or Lowe's or something and it's just real thin paper. I got the large roll. They also have it in smaller rolls, but I got the large one because what I did with it was um, I, I uh, used the file folder as a uh, pattern and cut it out, cut the paper out. Now I have worked on the other end so I can show you how it looks when you work on it, but this paper is, as you can tell, very, very thin. And you might think, you might not pick it as a, a base for a book, but I'm here to tell you that when you put paper on both sides of each page, which is the way we make these, here's the one side with scrapbook paper and the other side with scrapbook paper, and look how hard it is. It is a, as hard as all get out. And so once you get these pages done, it's thick, thinner than this than doing it this way and it's easier to handle when you're making it. So I highly recommend doing that. I think it's a, a fun thing to do, and, it's, and it works quite well. And even the little junk journal works just fine. You cut this down a little bit and make the junk, junk journal out of the piece you cut out of it, just like we did with the other file folder. So there you have my whole idea and how it came out, and if you're interested in, in having it to take a look for yourself firsthand. It's available on my Etsy shop. I'm just about to go post it right this minute. All right. Thank you. Good to see you, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming by. Bye-bye.